Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I kind of knew that Red of this sold CBs. Didn't think I'd get one to repair. And I've never used it before. So this ought to be interesting. I got to figure out what my evaluation criteria is and I got to get the thing taken care of. Let's go over to the bench, take a look at what we got, take it from there. We're still set up from the last test that we did. Oh, this one has a cigarette lighter power plug. So I got to figure out a way to power that a little differently than my workbench supply. Oh, I went to reach in and thinking there was more radio, but that was, that was it. That's all the radio there is. It's got a little ding on the bottom there. It has the screen protector still on. This is the MB1 and it's kind of a budget entry level CB type thing. It does have the external speaker or the PA. We've got a pretty simple microphone. Feels kind of hollow. We've got an owner's manual. There's some mounting hardware for the mobile bracket and for the microphone. And we have the mounting bracket itself. Nice. And then this is just a regular Amazon box or something else that I ordered because this one didn't even have a box. Put the manual back. I'm gonna need the microphone, I'm gonna need the radio. I'm not gonna need the mounting hardware. All right, now we've got some real estate back. I need to find a way to power this, so. I went through every battery box I have ever made and I don't have any cigarette lighter plugs on any of them. That's annoying, but I do have some power stations and this is one of the smallest ones that I have with me currently. This is the Dabson 600L and it has a cigarette lighter plug on the front of it. So we'll be using that. I still have this thing relatively set up from the last time I was in here doing a test. So I'll be able to plug in my dummy load and my power meter, but this is an HF radio. So on the back of the power meter, I need to switch these guys over to the other port. Get that plugged in, turn on the power station, turn on the DC power, and she came right to life when I did that. Okay, we switch this over to HF. We're on channel 19. And the microphone doesn't work because I haven't plugged the microphone in. There we go, microphone is plugged in. 3.52 watts out of a four watt radio. That's good. That's FM. We're not going to get anything on there. There's AM, three and a half watts. Audio. A little swing up to four. Nice. Audio. Yep, that works. So on the microphone, we have the PTT on the side. That works. We have the up and down buttons. Up, down. All right, microphone checks out 100%. It says it's got the US band plan and we're on 27185. 27205, 27215, nice. All right, let's see, squelch setting. Mm. Squelch kicks in good, that works. AM, FM works, we already tested that. Emergency switches to the emergency channels and these are definable in the radio menu usually. Up and down button works. Oh. Long press the function button and we get CDT set. Okay, so it's got tones, that's awesome. It'll open up repeaters. Key beep is on, which I'm hearing. Microphone set. It's gotta be mic gain, that works. Microphone type is Electret. So you can change different microphone types, nice. Vox level is set to three, okay. There's gotta be another Vox on setting here. Vox T, I guess that's timeout, is set to four. Squelch set to four. ASQ, automatic squelch control, is set to six. Scan type is set to time. High cut is off, talk back is off, noise blanker is off. This radio's got a bunch of nice features to it. RF auto on or off, okay. RF gain, Roger beep, oh, we must turn that on. Oh, different kinds of Roger beeps. I'm gonna leave it on that one for now, just to annoy people as much as possible. Colors, green, oh, that green is awesome, I love it. Blue, cyan, yellow. Yellow is kind of more like Kenwood green. Purple. 
White? White looks a lot like the cyan. I can kind of tell a difference? Yeah. The white is a little whiter than the cyan is. And then back to red. I'm going to leave this at green. There's a lot of contrast between the, the green and the whatever. Brightness is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. 6 is as bright as she gets. Timeout timer setting. Some of y'all need that. So here's where you set the emergency channels. So emergency US channel 9. Emergency US channel 19. And then a factory reset. All right. So the next thing I need to do is test out whether this thing is a good uh, CB receiver and transmitter. And I don't have another CB handy. So I'm going to use one of my ham radios. I'm going to go into a dummy load and we're going to have it on Mars Mod, open transmit, full setup. So you can do that stuff because you're on a dummy load and I am testing radios in a radio shack. So let's get after it. This actually winds up being really neat. So I've got this thing set up with the open transmit mod activated. You can see the FTX up there in the corner if the camera would focus. There we go, FTX mod in the corner, yay! We got some focus. This thing has all kinds of displays. It has a waterfall display here. It's got an oscilloscope display for your voice over here. And we're gonna look and see if we can hear ourselves on this radio. I've got it propped up a little bit because the speaker's on the bottom. Let's do KM9G testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. KM9G testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, I can hear it come through over there. Now, let's do this in the opposite direction. KM9G testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let's do this one here. KM9G testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we hear the little beep go out, the Roger beep. I'm gonna turn the volume all the way, whoops, that's too far down. I'm gonna turn the volume all the way down on this one. Hopefully we won't get too much feedback. I'm gonna turn this one up. And let's see how, let's see how the signal looks. KM9G testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And then watch the Roger beep on the lower right hand of the screen for the oscilloscope. It actually looks pretty cool on the waterfall too. Check it out on the waterfall. I didn't just give my call sign on CB radio, did I? Weirdo. KM9G testing, one, two, three. Awesome. Okay, so we've got this one in FM mode now. We've got this one in narrow FM mode now. Let's see how that works. Testing, testing, testing. Let me get a little feedback from the microphone there. Testing, output, testing, output. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's turn this one down all the way. Let's turn this one up. Testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. You're gonna fall over. Don't, don't fall over. There we go, all right. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Ah, well, tones work, because I've got a tone set on the MA1, MB1 from Redivis, and I don't have the ability to send a tone from the Zygu radio. Let me get the tones turned off. That was like a bonus test there, so let's tilt you down again. Long press menu, and then press it again for tone off. And then we're out. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Awesome. Let's try it the other way. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, 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 one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. We're seeing signal activity on the waterfall. Testing, 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 testing. Get that camera set up right. Well, that was more fun than I thought it was. That's the Redivis MB1CB. We tested FM, we tested AM, we accidentally tested FM tones. Microphone works, all three buttons on the microphone work. We get signals in and out on AM and signals in and out on FM. And the color change on the screen works. And the, the Zygu 6100 with its full transmit mod is a really good CB. Not legal to do that, but it's still fun to, to experiment with and test into a dummy load and all kinds of crazy ham shack stuff like that. If you like watching somebody make radios work again that already worked and were drunken Amazon purchases that needed to be returned or open up radios to transmit on frequencies they weren't supposed to be transmitting on, then this is the channel for you and I am glad that you're here. Right below the video there is a subscribe button. If you click that it'll help tell the world that we need to see more radio content out there and YouTube listens that whole algorithm thing that everybody talks about. If you'd like to get this radio, I will be selling it at a discounted price off of new. It obviously has been certified. It is now TO 
approved that it does the thing, send me an email or reach out to me on Discord. There are links in the description down below for all of that jazz. And if you don't like any of this, then maybe you'll like this video instead. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.